Wait a minute. I like the sleek look of them. Hello to this luxurious elevator. I flicked the button. Wow. Hear me out. Yeah, no. Ah! Very peaceful and quiet. I don't hear anybody. I. Those If you're new to my channel, my name is Ashley. If you've been here before, I promise I do not sweat like this all the time. Make sure you are subscribed. You already know what's going on, family. So, I'm excited for this Wednesday tour day. We are touring one Henry Adams apartments. They're in Selma, San Francisco. Being an SF native, I always get excited to tour apartments here in my city. I just love seeing what's out there. We're about to head in here, see what these apartments are giving. You guys already know, I'm always looking at one bed, one baths. So I'm hoping to see an unrenovated end of innovated space. You ready? Let's go. So we already found our mailboxes. I don't like that there is a package that could not fit, so it's on the outside. We are going to ask about package security because you guys know I'm huge on it. But I love this room. It is right next to the leasing office and it just feels very homey and luxurious here. Water station. Yeah, yeah, get it. We have found our fitness center. You guys know I'm huge on gyms. They have a little cubby station as soon as you come in. We have a bench to warm up on or do different exercises. Daughters, you can row, back machines, leg machines. And of course we have some cables, free dumbbells, kettleballs, and regular medicine balls as well. Or plus of treadmill, stairmaster, and elliptical. And they do have TVs in here. Um, hello to this look luxurious elevator isn't it so chic wow so fancy first room on our list you push First amenity up is the lounge area. I love the vibrant colors. It's like mellow, but you still get pops of like blue and orange. And I love the golden plate that's holding the TV and the fireplace. I love the stove as well. Wow, it's a gas guys. You know how I feel about gas, but it looks so good. Microwave, sink, so easy to host things here, cook a meal. We're gonna ask how much it costs. You can also slide these doors back. So you have an indoor, outdoor kind of thing going on. It's really pretty at night because I can see the string lights. And we have some barbecue pits, always good to have. Awesome, I love that they're pretty clean too. And then you have a sink over here. Turning right around. I'm so sorry it's windy guys. You have a nice built-in fireplace for outside. We are standing in one of the hallways. I almost felt like I was in an art gallery guys. So beautiful. Let's take a peek, a look down. Very peaceful and quiet. I don't hear anybody. I wanted to show you guys what this place looked like with no lights on. I'm a huge fan of natural lighting during the daytime because the more you have to turn your lights on, obviously the more PG&E you are wasting and you shouldn't have to turn on lights in the middle of the day. That is crazy to me. So this is our space. Straight ahead is our living room slash dining room area. To our left is the beautiful kitchen. And we have something magical behind those doors. I have not opened it yet. Pop on some lights though and tour. 
First things first, I would probably wanna put a little table in this corner right here, maybe even a plant. Something that's welcoming into the home, maybe mount something against the wall to hold our keys. First things first, let's open up these doors. Oh yeah. <laughs> this closet is magical because for me, it is right next to the kitchen. I could either turn this into a pantry or storage. Most likely, this would be storage for us just because we have so many things. Let's talk about our kitchen, guys. I'm excited. All right. Guys, I already know. Since I'm here, let's talk stove. I love that this is an electric stove. Oh, no, don't turn it on. Oh my God, no. Ah! Cancel, I was lying. I like this sleek look of them too. That looks really good, you guys. I just love modern appliances. Got a nice size boiler. I love that it's quiet when you pull this out. Going right above, looking at our microwave. I love this microwave. Hear me out. This one looked elongated. I've seen microwaves that just look like a square box. This one looks rectangle to me. I like that. Right next to the stove is our dishwasher. Pretty standard. And I never noticed, but we can take this out right here, right? Because it has the locks right here. You guys see that? Technically, you're supposed to be able to put it right here too. Maximize your space when you're running the dishwasher. So I love that. Moving on over to our sink. You already know, water pressure time. Ooh, I love the water pressure. It is super duper strong. Ooh, look, I flicked the button. Wow. I love that, wow. I love deep sinks that remind me of farmhouse sinks. Moving on over, I'm excited for this fridge. I never had a fridge like this. Oh, hello. Because we shop weekly, this is not a problem for us for storage. We would make this work and it helps you not waste a lot of food. So I am a fan. Now let's talk about it. This towel and countertop marble color, right? Always a huge thing. I am a fan. This is like a soft mint. Just don't know if I like it with that contrast. I would have did a sleek, sexy white marble and then a mint wall to draw some color to the kitchen. And then you guys know, oh, I got so disappointed. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Oh yeah. Wait, I think it's supposed to have a light that's underneath. I don't know if this is a light. I don't know what this is. If you guys know, comment below. I love cabinets that have under cabinet light with them. They just look so good to me. So I'm kind of disappointed. All right, y'all know me. I love to look at storage space. And if there is not enough storage, there is no point of moving somewhere. Just why would you deal with that headache? I can already tell cabinet space is so limited, you guys. This is the only cabinet I would have to put my pots and pans in, and this would not work for me at all. And when you look down, the only other sources of cabinets are right below the sink, and the only thing going in there is cleaning supplies, extra towels, garbage bags, etc. Reaching above, I'd probably do seasonings, middle for coffee, medicine like Theraflu, teas, very top would have canned goods. So this is the fun part. So obviously for these cabinets, I'm thinking plates, bowls, cups, right? So I clearly have enough space for that. Unfortunately, I can't share this space with pots and pans. It's just too awkward for me. We do have three cabinet drawers. I'm thinking silverware in here, aluminum foil, different things in here. And then everybody has that one junk drawer and this would be my one junk drawer. Above our fridge, we have extra cabinet space as well. I love that it goes deep. However, I don't think it's gonna save me. Reset setting look at our living room space i have an l-shaped couch let's figure this all out real quick i'm thinking tv up right here and then turning around i think i would have the short part of my couch go this way and the long part curved by the window if i were to flip it have the long part go there short part here it's crashing in with my kitchen a little bit and i really want to separate the two areas to feel like two different parts of the room finally we do have this little special nook right here you could put a desk here to get work done i don't think i can even put my dining room table here if i wanted to this room is so big in the middle i would buy one of those movable islands put it right here in that middle and if i'm really good I would get some bar stools and eat up there with my husband. Moving on in, this is our hallway. We are already greeted with our washer and dryer. You guys know how I feel about modern washer and dryers. I love them. Pretty deep. Same, but I love them. I am a sucker for 
the beautiful doors that hide our washer and dryer. Moving to our right, we are greeted with our bathroom. I love this huge mirror. I do wish we had more space up here for our sink. I can put a nice fixture right here, maybe a plant, some nice towels, make it look really homey. Underneath the sink, a lot of space down here as well. I personally, just know I would prefer to have these double deck doors, three drawers on the left, three drawers on the right. Moving on over. <gasps> Stop. I love that the medicine cabinet is above the toilet because that's different than what I've been seeing when I've been touring. I do love how big the toilet is. It's not too low. You need to put your towel right there. Don't like that the toilet paper handle is directly behind the door. I don't like that because God forbid this door really goes and swings it in hard. I don't want to pay for something that was a flaw in the way this place was designed. They did give you a towel, a robe, hanger in the back of the door. And of course you have your towel rack. I have a shower bathtub combo. Love that there is a light in the bathtub. I can put some nice candles in the corners and really relax. Turning right around, we are greeted with our bedroom. I love the size of this bedroom. A lot of natural light in here. TV would go here. Turning right around would be the bed area. And then of course dressers on both sides and it still would give you a good amount of space in this room. Welcome to the traditional San Francisco closets where they are small. All right, beautiful people. So this is the only apartment they have for me to tour right now. But this place is a huge no for me. It doesn't feel too homey and that is huge for me to check off my list. But we are done in this apartment. Let's see if we can find everything else and then we are going to jet out of here. Let's go place has another building this is the lobby area for the second building which contains the game room and the rooftop i also love this because if you're in this building your mail automatically comes to this room rather than to the mail room next to the leasing office this apartment complex has two buildings we are currently in the game room they're one of my favorites to always check out and then of course I love that they have a bathroom here for you guys to go directly to if needed. By their fitness center, they also had a bathroom right around the corner too, super important. Welcome to San Francisco, the foggy city. You can see that fog beginning to roll on in. But something that makes my city so unique and I adore are the homes on the hills. They just look like they're rolling off the hills, you guys. It is so unique to see. Let's talk real quick. We're just gonna do a quick summary, I right? Pros and cons. I, uh, I like 855 Brandon's more. If you don't know, there are companies that own multiple apartment complexes, right? Equity owns 855 Brandon as well as One Henry Adams Apartments. 855 Brandon has One Henry beat when it comes to the gym, parking, clubhouse area, foyer, rooftop. It has you guys beat. But I like the apartment structure better here than there. I could actually picture somewhat more clearer where my couch would be, bringing in that movable island so I could set up bar stools there and have a space to eat without having to try to figure out where to put a dining room table. When you think about it in those terms, one Henry Adams has 855B. Nonetheless, I will see you guys in the next vloggy vloggy vlog.